ESMO 2020 is an important year for upper GI malignancies, very exciting. Three important abstracts. Checkmate 649 is a first-line combination of chemotherapy and nivolumab. Attraction 4, also first-line gastric study with nivolumab. And Keynote 590 is esophageal adenocarcinoma and squamous cell cancer study with chemotherapy plus pembrolizumab. First uh, line studies in gastric adenocarcinoma were presented at ESMO. Checkmate 649 is a phase three study enrolling patients in the US, the West, uh, Asia, and the rest of the world. Patients were randomized to receive chemotherapy versus chemotherapy plus nivolumab. Patients were enrolled irrespective of PDL1 status. Uh, HER2 negative patients were treated, and the primary endpoint was both overall survival and progression-free survival in patients with metastatic disease. The primary endpoint focused on CPS greater than five a category, and that population benefited with overall survival of 14.4 months, comparing favorably to the control arm. This was a, a groundbreaking study showing uh, important benchmark for overall survival. Previous studies showed uh, have never cleared the one-year median overall survival. What's also important in this regimen was relatively well tolerated. There was no new toxicity signals and uh, the grade three and four events were manageable uh, with uh, follow-up and dose reductions. A similar study, Attraction 4, was also presented. This was a different uh, population focusing on patients in Asia only and once again, although the progression-free survival benefit was clearly demonstrated and robust with median progression-free uh, survival of uh, 10 months with combination of nivolumab plus uh, capecitib and oxaliplatin or S1 oxaliplatin regimen. In this study, because a high percentage of patients received second and third line therapy, including nivolumab, there was no overall survival benefit. The median overall survival on this study, however, was quite high of median overall survival of 17 months, again, confounded by use of second and third line uh, immunotherapy uh, and chemotherapy. Once again, in this study, there were no safety signals and the regimen is well tolerated. Now, including nivolumab in first line setting is likely going to be the standard um, all over the world which population is best to target will determine by additional analysis in Checkmate 649 and Attraction 4. Patients, irrespective of PDL1 status, did benefit with uh, survival, uh, but the degree of benefit may be the greatest in CPS high population. Keynote 590 is a large randomized phase three study looking at esophageal cancer patients, both squamous cell histology and adenocarcinoma, stage four disease previously untreated, and randomizing patients to receive 5-FU platinum-based chemotherapy versus 5-FU cisplatin plus pembrolizumab. This was a large study. Patients were randomized in one-to-one -one fashion, and uh, close to 750 patients were treated. There were no new safety signals. It was a relatively well-tolerated regimen. And there was a benefit in patients both in squamous cell cancer and irrespective of histology in all population. The primary endpoint was in CPS greater than 10 population, and the overall survival was significantly clinically and statistically uh, different and improved with median overall survival of 13.9 months, which is a benchmark outcome in this population. It's important to note 75% of the patients were squamous cells and the overall survival was 12.4 months in median uh, survival in all comers. Well-tolerated regimen, a new standard in squamous cell and adenocarcinoma esophagus, most likely. Whether or not the regulatory authorities will approve in all comers or CPS greater than 10 population only to be determined, but clinically this difference is meaningful and exciting for our patients. Mm -hmm.